If you guys are lazy and you just want to see destruction, and I don't blame you, you can go ahead and skip to 11 minutes and 47 seconds. Even though the video is pretty entertaining, I would watch it if I was you, but eh, your choice. If this phone sucks, I'm going to literally shoot it with my gun. Right now it's empty, but you get the point. This phone is called Smartphone. Its specs are Android, 5.5 inch, a quad core, it has a camera, and a memory. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This phone is actually called the Xgodi S20 Mini. It has only 1 gig of RAM, 4 gigs of storage, the MediaTek 6580. Judging purely by the box alone, you can tell this is going to be a bad phone. So let's get to it. Look at that. Wait, let's take this off. Hold on. Look at this. That's actually pretty cool. It's all a flat finish, so there's no creak. There's lines, you can't feel them, and that is an awesome color. But yeah, I have a feeling that's the only good thing about this phone. We have a case, specially made for the phone, which is uh, interesting. A screen protector, a charging cable. And take a look at how our charging brick came. It came in this separate box. It wasn't even, in, it wasn't even inside the phone box. Xcode, yeah, I wouldn't use this. But the color, damn, more phones need to have this, like seriously. All right, let's power it on. Oh wait, probably need to, there's probably a stick on the battery like there always is. Look, smartphone. I think Xcode literally just buys these non-brand smartphones and just lists. And look, it actually says it's 20 mini. And the battery is 1,000 milliamp hours. No, that's what it says on the phone. The battery itself, it says, it doesn't say anything, but yeah. Let's see if you have some juice. This is our welcome screen. This phone costs $40. Okay, we have a We have battery. And the phone comes pre-set up, and honestly, I was not surprised one bit. Now, the pre-installed screen protector, it feels so bad, I can't, I just gotta take it off. That is not any better. It's just so much residue on the screen. I, it's not visible, but someone who's holding it like me can just... Very hard to swipe. It just feels very uncomfortable. Okay, so this is Android 9. So they didn't mislead us on that at least. All right, let's start with some apps. Okay, so since this is the MediaTek 6580, it is MediaTek's uh, most budget chip that they offer, but it actually runs better than the MediaTek 6737, which doesn't make any sense. So performance should be decent, especially for $40. So as you can see, you know, typing home, swiping around, Okay, it's lagging. But not that slow. I mean, we do have one gig of RAM. So installing apps. Not the worst experience. Let's see, wind rider. Typing is horrible because the vibration motor is really bad and the keyboard's tiny. The battery is so bad. I started at 77%, not even 10 minutes later, it's already at 69. Let's see what else we have in the settings. Okay. Uh, screen fingerprint unlock, what is this? Fingerprint management. There's no way we have a fingerprint sensor here. So let's see what this is about. Touch screen. <laughs> We have a Zen Slate Fingerprint Scanner. Oh yeah, this seems legit. Let's see how this works. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, that's a lot accurate than all the other cheap um, fingerprint sensors. Let's try it for a different thing. <laughs> oh wow, I mean, I guess I have the same fingerprint on, on, on all my fingers. Wow, this is a great fingerprint scanner. Kudos to X Godi. And now I'm stuck. 
Now I'm stuck. That is home button doesn't work. Okay, now it works. I don't see knife fit anywhere. I mean, I thought I installed it, didn't I? What? It canceled the installation. Oh my god. All right, let's try this again. Okay, the Windrider is installing it actually. Guess it didn't cancel Windrider, but it canceled Knife Fit for some reason. Install. Okay, let's try Windrider first because it finished first. It actually doesn't play as bad as other phones I've tested. Okay, but it is pretty laggy. It's unplayable. Okay, one rider shows up here. Now let's check up on knife it once again. We lost eleven percent. Oh, here you can't can't download knife it. Authentication is required. What the heck? Okay, I give okay, I give up. Let's just download the APK. It'll give us a chance to try the browsing experience, and this is the browser that comes with the phone. Let's try. Nope, that's that's wrong. Knife. Oh my god! You can't type on. You can't type on this. But at least it. It show it. At least it found the app anyway. Okay, now it just jumps over here. Okay, we're just gonna wait for that then. Okay, the touch screen just doesn't work. Or it does, because I'm tabbing. This app requires the list. Oh, Google Play. Okay, we have to wait some more then. Actually, quicker than I expected, so let's try. Oh. Okay, where's Knife Fit? I installed Knife Fit as. Okay. Nope. Oh, right here. All right, this time let's actually play. Come on, I install Google Play services. This app will just be used as a default. Okay, thank you. Oh, not bad actually. We're gonna uh, disable ads now, if it'll let me. Let's go home. Come on, come on, let me do something here. Settings, come on. Why won't you let me tap anything? <laughs> the phone thinks there's a notch, so it just blacks out this area. Okay. Come on. Settings. Come on. Yeah, I'm level 1. That's great. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, settings. Come on, settings. Settings. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. It's Oh, there you go. I just I, you have to tap at random places just for it to work. Finally. Yo. No, what did I press? No, 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 no. I just want to play. I just want to play. I just want to play. Come on, come on. Thank you. Oh my god. Hmm. Wow. Okay, the game doesn't lag. I mean, the phone's heating up. Pretty substantially, I mean, it's getting warm, not overheating or anything, but. And there's a slight delay when I tap, just a very slight delay, maybe a few milliseconds, but other than that, the game doesn't lag. Meanwhile, the new phones that are coming out with the MediaTek 6737 are lagging like crazy when I'm playing that game, so that's why I think that the MediaTek 6580 is better than the 6737.
the speaker is low quality it's quiet it's just a bad speaker um, but we do have a headphone jack but I doubt it'll even work <laughs> all right this camera has some sort of skin but let's take our first selfie okay here we go okay so unfortunately I am unable to show you the pictures and video I took of the phone because I was an idiot and I spoiler alert I shot the phone before I could transfer them to my PC so yeah just take my word for it that it the pictures and videos it takes is extremely bad and um, to no surprise and yes yeah, how I can show you the, the results all right so that is pretty much it I have tested this phone like I test on my other phones that I review so do you buy it no does it suck yeah but it's not the worst phone I ever used. But I'm gonna shoot it anyway. Okay guys, so if you still haven't realized that this gun is fake, it takes BBs. It's not a BB gun, it's an airsoft gun. This is the gas it takes. You insert it here like you would uh, any old lighter. Just shake it up. So yeah, this is a gas-powered gun. Very powerful. Let's gonna load load the bullets. Once you've loaded the bullets and put the gas, you just slide it in, cock it, and now it's loaded, ready to fire. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's hope the bullet doesn't ricochet and hit my camera. All right, three, two, one. We have some damage. Oh. Oh. Let's do it in slow motion. Okay, so this is our result. And we have some pretty significant damage. I didn't think it would cause this much damage. But yeah, I guess they used a really cheap version of glass. So I think if I shot my Note 20 Ultra, it's Gorilla Glass 7. I think the damage would have been way less significant. If not, then it would have no damage at all. But I'm not going to test that for you guys. I'm not that rich. And the reason I shot this phone is because I can't sell it. The shop that I sell it to is not going to take this. He, he already gives me trouble. When I'm talking to sell him a phone with 16 gigs of storage and this has 4 gigs of storage. Like no one's gonna buy that. And there's no way in hell I was gonna give this away to one of you guys. You guys are loyal. You, you guys, I mean I wouldn't do that to you guys. Any phone you have now is better than this. Believe me. I wonder if the back will take damage. I'm gonna leave these marks but the back is intact. Wait, let's, let's do the camera. I wonder if that'll break. Because the lens is plastic, it only causes these dents, but yeah. Let's shoot the display a few more times. We're out. Okay guys, this is our phone. I'm trying to be very careful as to not cut myself. I hope this was entertaining for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want me to shoot um, other phones, um, let me know. Alright guys, I'm gonna see you I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.